Hey, this is Emily Carr's House of All Sorts, Chapter 3, Sounds and Silences. Sometimes I rented suites furnished and sometimes unfurnished, according to the demand. Two things every tenant provided for himself, sound and silence. His own personality manufactured these, just as he stamped his imprint on every inch of his environment, placing his furniture just so, hoisting and lowering his window blinds, straight or crooked. Even the boards of the floor creaked differently to each tenant's tread. Walls echoed his noises individually. Each one's hush was a different quiet. Furniture is comical. It responds to humans. For some, it looks its drabest. For others, it sparkles and looks, at any rate, if not handsome, at least comfortable. And heavens, how tormenting furniture is to a guilty conscience. Squeaking, squealing, scrooping. Let someone try to elude rent day or contemplate a fly by night. That man the furniture torments.